Ciao lovelies, it's Denaria here. Sorry if my voice sounds a little bad. Um, I'm still kind of coming back from being sick, so I kind of sound a little scratchy. Um, sorry about that in advance. <laughs> also sorry about how many breaks I'm gonna take to drink water. Um, okay, so today's video was not at all planned. Um, it actually became a reality because I hung out with my Adri older brother, Song, and we found this place. And we were going thrift shopping is essentially the, the gist of this. And we had been to like Goodwill, Salvation Army, CSKD, like all the ones, local, the chain ones, all that stuff. And we were really just looking for a place to find used toys. So we were more interested in trying to find cool um, used toys than anything else. So we ended up finding this place that was, I think it's what you'd call a, like a flea market. It's a big building that's divided into shops, um, kind of like an antique mall but there's no like requirement for stuff to be antiques to be in it. That kind of thing. Um, sorry, I thought I heard my cat messing with something. Um, so because of that, we ended up finding this little place that had a bunch of used kids stuff. And so I picked up a lot of stuff for my dollhouse. And the part that I was like, I gotta share this with OFT, um, I got all this stuff for five dollars, and I don't mean per thing, I mean all of it, cumulatively, five dollars. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to show you guys today is my little five dollar Adri haul from a flea market. It's a bunch of used stuff that I really like, and I'm saving the grand finale for the end because there's something really awesome that I got from this haul that I'm going to fix up and restore for an OFT video. Um, I'm so excited guys, you have no clue. I saw this thing in there and I was like, <gasps> so <laughs> but I'll show you guys this, that at the very end. So stick around if you want to see like the super cool item that was part of this $5 haul. And uh, let's get into this. So the first thing that was part of this haul is I'm gonna go through stuff that isn't for the dollhouse first. It was just stuff that I thought was cute. Um, this thing is a little Peter Rabbit maze. It has a little marble in it and you're trying to get the marble through the maze and you've got some controls that are little carrots. Um, it's kind of cute. I thought it would be nice potentially for, um, I'm thinking about setting up a doll arcade or some kind of game room in my dollhouse and I'm thinking about how to accurately show doll sized games like that. So that's kind of for that sort of stuff. <laughs> um, the next thing was this cute little sun charm. He was in uh, one of those grab bag type things and I couldn't help it. He was super cute. I liked it. I think it may have come off of a mobile. I'm not really sure. Um, I saw this, I picked it up. I started shaking it aggressively. I knew I needed it. Sorry for the sounds, but it's got little primary colored like pellets inside and you could hold it and just I needed it for like smaller age time because I like to sim. I like to sim a lot when I'm very tiny. And one of the things that I like to do when I stim that I don't do when I'm not as regressed, uh, sound. I hate sound stimming when I'm like not super tiny, but then I'm super tiny and I'm like, give me the crinkles, give me the rattles, all of it. <laughs> um, I'm just sensitive to sound overload uh, as a person. So unless I'm like super in, in like a very small mindset, I typically avoid it. So, but I saw that and my brain went boop, into baby mode. So <laughs> the next thing that I got, we're going into kind of dollhouse slash toy skit stuff now. Um, I found 
on this little Hello Kitty. She's a she is a Happy Meal toy from 2019. And the thing is, I can make her wink. I can make her close her eyes or give a side eye. I love this. Um I'm someone who really likes like just very simple, simplistic toys, and I also really like Hello Kitty. Um, I also really like like Happy Meal toys. Um, it's a fun fact, I actually really like Happy Meal toys. Like when they were doing the Sonic ones for the Sonic movie, I totally got a bunch of Happy Meals just to get the Sonic toy. <laughs> um, yeah. Also, did you guys hear they're making Happy Meals for adults? that are gonna have like the throwback like like McDonald's characters. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so <laughs> off topic for just a second, my bad. Next, I'm gonna move into all the stuff that's for the dollhouse. And then again, like I said, our finale is gonna be this really awesome item that I still can't believe I got this thing for less than $5. So first in the little uh, dollhouse section, we've got these little thrones, I think these are for a little people, um, like a Fisher Price little people, um, Disney princess thing, but really I don't know. Honestly, just looking at them, I'm like, fairly odd parents? Like, I don't know, they don't have any markings or anything, I just thought they'd be really cute in some dollhouse scenes, and I've been trying to get some, like, cool dollhouse stuff to use in skits for you guys, because, oh my gosh, guys, let me tell you, I'm having a blast making those skits, and so I would really like to continue doing that. Um, next, I got this little table set, so it's a little, like, table, and then... It has some printed like feast stuff going on on top pretty cute pretty simple um, and it comes with these chairs which I also got just some little simple plastic chairs you can put some little dolls in them I don't know I like picking up very simple pieces for my dollhouse and thrift stores um, because sometimes you can find like really cool stuff like sometimes I have the uh, the luck of finding that like curio cabinet thing right but then sometimes I find grab bags of kids toys that are like a little bit older or used and they have a lot of those miscellaneous pieces from play sets that I could totally use in my dollhouse. So I keep my eyes open like everywhere. <laughs> the next thing for furniture, I think this is from that same Fisher Price thing I was talking about, but it's a little chair. I find it very cute, very simple, very good for the dollhouse. Um, there's a little like leaned back chair not really sure why the the top of it's down like that I may adjust it and like I may like try to get it to stay that way like up but um it's just a cute little chair again like it's good to have basics in your dollhouse I really think it's overlooked but it's really good and a stool a little tiny stool it's yellow too and I was like it's yellow it's my favorite color I was like I gotta <laughs> all right moving forward into some other dollhouse stuff that's pretty cool I got this little wagon like first and foremost is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen and second of all yes the wheels actually move um, and third I'm totally gonna use this in doll scenes because oh my god <laughs> can you imagine that in like a little doll pumpkin patch or something oh kill me it's so cute sorry um, that was such a weird verbal expression um, what is it the kids say on a lie <laughs> I'm a kid really in my brain, but I don't keep up with the modern stuff as well as I used to. Oops. <laughs> um, okay, next I'm gonna go into the, like the smaller accessories that I got. Um, so this is for like our generation, I'm pretty sure. It's... This little shampoo bottle and it is for our generation stuff but um I thought it was pretty cute and honestly I thought it'd be nice for like an industrial sized bottle or something for the dollhouse so keeping the eyes open this one I think may possibly potentially be a doll like a Barbie accessory but honestly I've got no clue it's 2010 Mattel so Barbie's not off the table because Mattel is always a Barbie option but I'm gonna fix this up a little bit because it's got some scuffs and stuff but it's a cute little breakfast plate I thought it'd be nice 
you know, I like these little bits and bobbles, details here and there. This was a little keychain. I just took the little keychain thing off before showing you guys. But look at that. Like, that is so cute. Like, that is so cute. And of course, I saw it and was like, oof, need it. And then lastly, for the dollhouse accessories before the grand reveal of the big item, um, I found this little, like, cake thing pretty adorable um it's hollow which i thought was interesting um so i thought it'd be cool to use this for like maybe a birthday something going on with a dollhouse but you know who knows all right i've done enough uh building up for this one so the biggest item that i got in this haul and remember i got all this stuff for five dollars um i hope you're prepared i got a hello kitty airplane <laughs> Like, yes, it's a little bit scuffed up and stuff, but like, I can easily clean this up. I can easily restore this. The fact that I found this, got this in a haul with a bunch of other stuff for $5, absolutely blows my mind. So, you can open it, right? Because <laughs> it just keeps getting better. You can open it, and so all the little seats are accessible. There's like a little, like, there's printed curtains on the windows and stuff. Some of the seats still have their tray tables, so some of them, not all of them, still have a little tray table function here. I can't get it to work, but you know what I mean. But like, there's a little cockpit, like, ugh, it's so cute. I was literally like, just, oh my God, I was so blown away by this. I found it to be so adorable. It kind of looks like the bottom may or may not open. I'm gonna to say no for now because it doesn't seem too open, at least from my point of view. Um, if I find out any different, you guys will know because I'm gonna do a video restoring this because, oh my God, I need it. And like I said, I didn't even pay $5 for it. It was a part of a $5 haul. <laughs> Look at that! Oh, I just, guys, I'm gonna have so much fun with this. I'm gonna use it for so many dollhouse kits. I can already see it. I've already got the wheels turned in my brain. I'm so excited. So that is it for the haul, um, for the $5 haul. Uh, quick little fun side note. I found this little uh, fidget slug. I've wanted one of these for a bit, but uh, I found him at Shopper's World. Look at him, he's just, I like things that, like little buddies, little friends that I can just carry around. Like yesterday I was carrying around him and I didn't have a name for him yet. And I was doing some chores around the house and CG was like, oh, and he grabbed him and put him on my shoulder. And I was like, okay, his name is Mr. Slug now because I really don't know what else to call him. And CG was like, well, is Mr. Slug helping you do your chores? And I was like, yeah, Mr. Slug's helping me do my chores. And I was like, instant small. Cause I was like, how did you die? You know what I mean? Oof. Um, anyway, let me do my outro stuff. I don't know why I'm putting my hat to the outro, uh, other than I want to, and that's that. It's a little Jack Skellington, because I like October and Halloween, and it's soon, guys. It's soon. I don't know when this video is going up, but for right now, it's soon. It's 9.29. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, so, please remember to... Am I... Wait a minute. <sighs> Sorry, like I said, it's been a little bit, it's been a hot minute, so let me make sure I can do the outro correctly for you guys. So, if you like what I do on this channel, I do stuff about age regression, kawaii culture, dollhouse stuff, toys, collecting, DIYs, um, basically this is the channel of a proud perma regressor who is just living their life, so please subscribe if you like what I do here. Um, don't know if comments are on. Never know if comments are on. Sorry, guys. It's been a rough one. Um, if you can comment, you should totally comment. If you can't comment, uh, like this video. Or even if you can comment, like this video. Share this video with people you know if they like this kind of stuff. Because I love the community that we've built. And I am so happy with every single one of you lovelies. Because you guys are so positive And, like, you keep these spaces so, like, friendly and nice. And it's just, like... I love it. I really do. Like, we have, like, such a solid little community, and it makes me so incredibly happy. Okay, so, 
that stuff uh, has all been said. All of the OFT social links are in the description. We've got a bunch of stuff and a bunch of merch shop stuff, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to do self promo right now. All I want to do is say this, stay awesome. Remember to love yourself. I mean it, stay awesome and love yourself. I know that like I harp on it every video and I'm never gonna stop, so um, I'm never gonna stop saying it. You gotta love yourself, you gotta take care of yourself, you got to know that you're awesome and love yourself for how awesome that you are. Because that's the thing, you guys are really, really amazing and you have to be the first person to look inward and say, I am amazing and I'm not going to talk down to myself, I'm going to realize that I am amazing and I'm going to let myself be amazing. Because too often I see people who will say really cool things about themselves but in like a joking way and it worries me because I'm like that's still kind of self-deprecating if you're saying I'm a genius but you don't mean it, what does that mean, you know? So I want you guys to really like work on that, like take a moment, look inward and appreciate all that you do, appreciate all that your brain does, appreciate what your body does to keep you alive. Like, whatever it takes to make you look in a mirror and say I really love myself that's something you should do so okay sorry all of my rambling aside please remember to stay awesome and love yourself and I will see you in my next uh, video post or whatever comes next bye lovelies I'm gonna wave to you with the hat this time